we will use the walnut uh, data set that uh, we had used in the previous video now in the previous video when we had uh, um, uploaded or used the walnut data set uh, these three files got created uh, the hist mask and mask.pvl.nc file uh, now when I drag and drop the walnut data set uh, we will be able to start working on the data set almost uh, straight away because of this information now if for example I delete these files or these files are corrupted um, and you would for example delete them then the program would just go ahead and create these files now the histogram file um, saves your histogram data in the intensity histogram now especially for big files um, calculating his, uh, the histogram every time you load the data set is um, a bit irritating so that's why I save this histogram and then mask uh, these two files basically contains the mask information so let me drag and drop this evil.nc file and then you can start working straight away on the data now control 0 and then control plus so control 0 is will set the original size and then control plus to increase the size of the image and then control minus to reduce the size control 0 is to bring it back to original size so control plus now in this video we will actually go ahead and do some segmentation um, let us reset this histo uh, this um, transfer function so that uh, it occupies um, the the region that we would like to segment now this for it let's start with segmenting this region here now this region is uh, is probably this yes so this region here so the values if you if you want to look at the values then shift and then uh, right click so shift and then right click so so the values are 128 130 and so on here so which is basically in this range so in the center of the of the intensity histogram and there's a bright spot here which is this now you can also increase or decrease the contrast in the region that you want to segment so just by adding a point here so using right mouse button uh, you add a point and left mouse uh, sorry left mouse to add a point and then right mouse to remove the point so the the um, the key, keyboard and mouse bindings are the same as that in the drishti uh, uh, renderer so you have added a point here now this changing the contrast helps in in segmentation okay so let's keep the contrast uh, as it is now in any case by changing the the transfer function we have actually modified uh, or played with the with the contrast of the image okay so now let's start uh, segmentation now in order to segment uh, we would like to tell the program uh, what is the object that we would like to segment we have already decided on our tag which is tag one we can also decide whatever tag that we want by key in the number here now this is the area that this is the region that we would like to tag so I'm marking this area here by uh, just drawing a line here and then by pressing T I will tag this area so by pressing T let me press escape uh, sorry let me press reset R R is reset and by pressing T I will tag this area similarly I would like to tag that area press T now I am pressing reset again R 
and so our reset will just reset the the tag so all the areas that are tagged with tag number one will be set to tag zero that is basically reset the tag now let me change this histo uh, this transformation so that it occupies the entire range now you can also paint on this because now this is not a transparent region let me just remove this tag uh, the painted region sorry not the tag the painting now using the left mouse button I can paint and then using right mouse button I basically erase the region that I have painted so user painted regions can be removed by dragging the right mouse button so increase the size so this is the painting for, by, for tag 1 you can similarly paint with tag 2 and so on and now in order to remove this painted region I am using um, right mouse button dragging the right mouse button and removing all this tagged information so this help is available you can either press escape uh, press sorry not escape press space bar or you can go to help and then press the help key so here it is so left mouse button, button dragging that you will mark the region for with current tag and then uh, the right mouse button to uh, erase the mark region so this is the right mouse button to erase the mark region left mouse button to mark with the current region now if we start now if we press T then what will happen is all the region will get tagged so let me just show you press T and then the uh, entire region uh, will sorry uh, I need to press it to tag one. Okay, now let me also tell you what happened right now. Now we were in tag two here, and I have marked this region with tag one and then pressed T. Now what the program assumes is that's the current tag, tag two. So it will all only consider the region that was marked for tagging with tag two. Now there was nothing that was marked with tag 2 and that's why there was no tagging that was happening so let me just go back to tag 1 and now when I press T this region will get tagged now if for example I had a tag here when I press T press T press T and so on so let me press reset press escape If I do this, tag and so on. So reset, escape. Now if I flip this uh, transfer function, so press F. So I hover over the color gradient, um, uh, color and opacity gradient. So it again, as I said, the the keyboard bindings are the same as in the renderer so press F which will flip and if I press tag this uh, color this region and then press tag you will get the entire region that is tagged and press reset now if I want to restrict the tagging so for example here now what I'm right now doing is just tagging the boundary and then you can see that the boundary is tagged now we can't paint anything over here because this region which is the high intensity region is uh, transparent but we can tag here tag and so on reset escape now if you want to just tag the interior region here mark this region as the object region 
and then press tag similarly here and so on but we don't want to tag this so let me remove the tag from here press T and then you can tag the region again reset escape so this is basic tagging now what we have done here is uh, we have been able to just mark the region that is our object that what we want to tag and then press T to tag that region. Now suppose again press reset escape. We have got this and now we would like to tag the region. Say I have want to tag this press T and now what you see is that instead of just tagging this region here it's tagging everything press reset now one way to rectify this is just flip the color color gradient and then press T press T press T and so on 